Okay, good evening everybody. My name is Kitty. Welcome to The Successful Show Girl. Um, we are on day eight, I think, of our Kickstart Your Career um, month and this is the end of the first week, which was Mindset Week. So this is going to be our last Mindset Day. Next week we're moving on to how to make yourself visible as a performer. The week after that we'll be talking about all the proper business things that you need to get yourself up and running, CVs, bios, all that jazz. So today, this evening, I want to have a little talk about aligning your behaviours with all the things we've talked about this week. So this week, we've had a really good think about lots of things. We've talked about self-confidence this morning. We've talked, and self-love, we've talked about um, gratitude. We've talked about dreaming of a big life and exactly what you want to do with it. We've talked about all kinds of positive thinking messages this week. Now I want you to think about what success as a performer means to you. And we've talked about this a lot in my group because I think this is really important. A lot of the time we have this idea in our head that a successful professional performer is somebody who is always working all the time. And we kind of get bombarded by the, with that by society as well, that you're not a productive member of society if you're not constantly working and burning yourself out. And for me, that is not a marker of my success at all. I do not want to be working all day, every day with no time to myself, just for the sake of it. I want to be enjoying my free time, but also doing my job and loving it, but then being able to actually relax on my days off and spend it properly with my family and my friends. For me, that's an important marker of success. So being time free, being financially free is another one for me. I don't wanna be worrying about money all the time. If I wanna buy a new costume for an act, I wanna feel like, yeah, I've got the money there to do that because I've invested, I've saved money as, as I've been earning and I, I can now invest it back into my business if I want to. If I wanna go on a holiday, I can do. If I wanna go out to that nice restaurant, I can. Like, I want to have that lifestyle where I feel like I can be free to do the things that I want to do. Basically, I spend all my money on courses. I literally just do course after course after course for different things just because I love it. I love learning new stuff. And that is kind of my little, um, you know, some people have like a shoe thing and they have loads of shoes. I just buy loads of courses and learn new stuff all the time. That's my thing. So it doesn't matter what someone else's thing is. It's what's your thing. What do you love and want your life to look like what would be success to you so success to me is definitely having lots of free time and being able to spend it with my family it's being able to be at home a lot like this week i've been working in scotland all week and i used to love working away all the time but now i kind of miss being at home i kind of miss my family i miss my friends i miss my boyfriend i want to do like things with them and spend time with them and often I have to say I can't do things or I can't go to things because I'm working away all the time and I don't really want that anymore for my life so my success marker in the future would be that I'm at home a lot more like that would be one of mine so I want you to write down all your different markers of success this can be for your performing career but it also can be just in your general life maybe a marker of success for you would be that you want to be able to do the splits or maybe a marker of success for you would be that you um are super fit and go to the gym every day whatever okay it's it's your life it's your choice you choose what what means something to you and write all these things down when you've done it want you to have a little look at each one and think where are you now on that scale are you a one and you're not really achieving that at all so for me i've been away all week so not really doing very well at my whole, I want to be at home a lot more. However, in the next few weeks, I am at home for a lot of weekends, which isn't my usual thing. I'm normally away all the time. So I kind of am doing good at that. I've started to reevaluate how I, how I want things to go. And I've started changing things so that I can spend more time at home. So I'm probably more at an eight rather than at a one. Yeah, so I want you to have a little think. If one is not very good at all and 10 is perfect, where are you at for each one of those and number them okay so number each one for me as well time freedom is a big one for me and i have loads of spare time now like i've kind of like organized my life really well in the past couple of years where i spend a lot of time 
doing my own thing and like working on my business, but I don't have to if I don't want to. I don't have to be physically teaching or working or whatever. I just do it because I like doing it. And then I have lots of time in the day to do my own thing. Like I like to go to the gym, I like to go on a walk, do a lot of like journaling and stuff like that. Like I spend a lot of time doing stuff for me rather than rushing around now. So for me, I'm probably at like a nine or a 10 for my time freedom. I've worked really hard on it and I've got it to the point that I want it at now. So give them all a number. Once you've got your numbers, look at the ones that aren't very good. So for example, if you're a, under a five in any of them, then we need to start thinking about what behaviours you can start creating to push yourself towards that. So if you want to be super fit and healthy, but you never step foot in a gym or you never do any exercise in any way, well, then that's a behaviour that you need to change, isn't it? You need to think, how am I going to work that into my day? You have to start aligning your behaviours now with the kind of person that you want to be in the future. So if you want to be a super bendy, flexible person in the future, your behaviour starts now, doesn't it, to change that. What you do today is going to create the person in the future that you want to be tomorrow. So you need to start stretching every day. Yeah, that might only be for five minutes a day for now because it's a, it's a new thing. But then eventually after a year's time, you could be doing it loads and you could be mega bendy, all right? So you, I want you to really think about what behaviours you can start putting into practice to start aligning you now with the future you that you want to be. Because we did very much talk about on the very first day, day one, when we were talking about visualisation, I gave you the task of every day doing your visualisation exercise where you were going to think about future you writing a letter back to you and telling you about all the amazing things that you're currently doing. So we've already thought about what we want future you to be like. Are the things you're doing now the things that future you would be doing? So for example, two years ago, I was working as a curer at the same time basically because we were in covid so i wasn't doing any training wasn't spending time at home i was always working constantly and that was a weird time it wasn't like my usual thing because i've never really had a proper job i'd always been a performer or a dance teacher or whatever and i'd had to go out and get that job but in that time none of my behaviors were aligned with those of a professional performer because I, I had no time to do anything. I, was, I wasn't doing any training. I wasn't making any costumes. I wasn't doing any teaching really, because I had an online dance school, but I was employing other people to do all the classes while I was out at work. So none of my behaviors were aligned with that of a professional performer. And therefore I didn't feel like a performer. I felt like somebody who had a normal job because that's what who I was. As soon as I started remembering who I was and remembering that I'm still a performer even though I'm not working as a performer at the minute because we can't because of COVID and I started going back to training and I started doing more stuff at home creating new acts creating costumes in my spare time then I felt a lot more aligned with the person that I wanted to be I felt a lot happier so I want you guys to do the same so I'm not going to talk any more about that today you have got an absolute ton of tasks for this week I've given you loads but I think the mindset stuff is so, so, so important to be doing on a regular basis, maybe sitting down every day and thinking about a few of these things at a time, looking back over what you've journaled this week and checking, are you actually on track with all these things? Or have you just done it one time and then never looked at it again? Yeah, I'm always doing mine. I'm always going back and thinking, well, actually now, where am I at in my successes? Like, am I getting closer to where I wanna be? or have I done nothing in three months? And I'll look back at what I wrote down three months ago, have a look now and think, oh yeah, that has improved, but that's actually got worse, so I probably need to do something about that. Yeah, you've constantly got to be growing and changing to improve yourself as a person, but also as a performer, yeah? Things are only going to get better if you do work on yourself as a person in your professional life as well, isn't it? So I'm going to leave that there. Don't forget this is a pre-recorded video, but please, if you're watching it, hashtag replay or hashtag live so that I can see who is seeing these at the time. And also, if you've got any questions, you can still comment and ask questions on there or you can DM me and I will respond to you. I just won't be home until after 10 o'clock tonight because I'm driving back from Scotland, so I couldn't do the live one. But I will 
answer you all if you've got any questions to ask me. I hope you've enjoyed this week. If you have, please let me know. Please comment. If you don't mind doing a testimonial, I would really appreciate that as well. Um, next week, we're talking about visibility on Monday, same times, 7.30pm, and I'll see you there. Have a wonderful weekend. I am now off for three days after this when I finish work tonight. So I won't be contactable until 7.30 on Monday. So I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.